Hello, my name's Nat from Studio Hacks, and if you want to see how I made this beat rather quickly and hackishly in Logic Pro X, stick around. And today I'm going to uh, answer a student's question who asked me how uh, I would make a beat in Logic. No, uh, so first of all, Logic, um, I don't use it as much as some of the other doors, but it's amazing uh, and it has a lot of really good onboard sounds. So what I'm going to do is one style of beat making, which is pretty popular, where you find a sample and then base the track around the sample. So I've just been searching the web for royalty free um, Creative Commons music and I've come across uh, freesound.org. I found this sort of jazzy thing here. And you'll see here, this is just the sample. Let me play it for you. jazz there and you'll see that it's creative commons here so you can copy modify distribute and perform this work even for commercial purposes with all without asking permission so that's great it's basically that samples cleared so let's start a new session in logic I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible yeah I tend to use Pro Tools and Ableton a bit more these days um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, it's always nice to jump back into Logic. So please bear with me if I'm a bit slow with some of the edits. Um, so I'm just going to grab, I've downloaded this audio file and I'm just going to drag it straight off the desktop into a blank area and it's going to create a new track for me. Let's have a look. I'm going to zoom in. It looks like, yes, it's a stereo wave file. So we've got this sample to work with. We first need to get ourselves on a grid, find our beats per minute. And we need to probably muck around with this little bit, chop it up. And I'm just gonna try and get a base beats per minute on this. Let's volume down so I can hear the metronome there. Make this full screen. Just pulling down the beats per minute here. I'm using my ears. might just uh, cycle a couple of bars here. That's the cycle there. Just uh, up there, it's pretty easy. You just drag it. The yellow there, it should snap to a bar. Almost, let's try 96. Just, we just want it almost on. Actually, that sounds for the second half of that sounds good. So let's just do a one bar loop. Cool. I'm just going to drag this around a little bit. I think it needs to be 97. Cool. All right. So I'm going to pop the playhead there at the start of that bar. And with that selected, I'm going to command T to splice that. And you'll see here, we need some audio to fill out the end of that bar. So I might just grab something from here. Turn off the cycle. Might just grab this. Resize it a bit. I'll pop that cycle back on. Just using my ears here to try and get it to groove a bit. I think I need to adjust the start of this, maybe, ever so slightly. Because that end is now grooving a bit more. Maybe 
pull it back. Yeah, that's better. Almost there. forward a bit that's good enough for the moment it's not bang on I'd probably muck around with that normally a bit more so I'm just gonna pull the bounds of this sample to make it exactly a bar I'm gonna highlight the two by holding down the shift button clicking on one holding down the shift selecting the next I'm gonna go command J and it's gonna create a new file um, it's gonna splice those two together uh, join them rather Let's double click on this and then chuck on this flex audio right here. Flex audio, turn on flex and you delete the unwanted stuff there. Maybe keep it. I don't know. No, I'm just going to delete it. So the flex audio is going to enable us to warp this a little bit. Just going to click there and add some warp markers on some of these transients here. Okay, um, it's not perfect, but I've sort of massaged this loop into something that I think is usable. So uh, what I might do is now start building a track around it. So I'm going to get rid of any unused track. And because this is going to be um, sort of a little trappy style, I want to slow this right down. And because we have the warp, uh, the flex audio on rather, if I put this down to 180, it's going to slow this loop down. I think it's the start of the loop that's out there. Let me get rid of that warp marker. That needs to come forward a bit. Okay, so now that we've got that slowed down, I might even slow that down even more, 75. So I'm going to drag that to the start and I'm just going to use the top half to loop that out. Let's add in a drum beat. So right click there, new software instrument track. Open the library. Sorry, that is the mixer. Okay, you can see it's been a while since I've used Logic. It's all good. Once you learn one digital audio workstation, you can use them all. It's just the little fine details, day-to-day -day editing and, and where to find things that slow you down a bit. So electronic drum kit. Let's go the Atlanta since I'm going to make this a bit trappy. And I'm going to hit Command K because I don't have a MIDI keyboard, so I'm just going to use my computer keyboard here. Okay, let's see if we can get a bit of a drum beat. Take off that loop region, just play for a bit. Let's 
something like this is going to be all right. Let's hit record. So what I'm going to do is double click on that and open the MIDI editor and quantize what I've done. I know that's a bit of a straight feel and the loop is a bit swung. But I'm going to quantize that. Uh, 16th notes hitting this cue here. I'm going to hit this little play button to loop it. Sorry, I'll just drag that over the whole loop and do it that way. Now I'm going to do use this cool little feature if I right click on any track and go to the, the track configure track header. I'm going to want to uh, show the groove track. There. So that should give me this little star on the left hand side. And I'm going to select this drum as the groove track and then everything else is going to follow that. Okay, so I'm going to actually pull some of the low frequencies out of this loop. Um, so I'm going to open the editor. We go to the track EQ. I could go to the mixer there as well if I wanted to um, bring that loop volume up again so there's that EQ there I'm gonna put a high pass filter so it passes the highs and cuts the lows Let's um let's put a bit of swing into this by doing sixteenth note swing a quantize that. There we go. Let's add a little bit of a swing feel to those. So now we've got that. Let's add in a bass. I don't want an audio track. I want a software instrument track. I'm just right clicking there. I'm not going to go too crazy with any of this. Let's go to synthesizer. I'm more showing you how I'll do it. I don't really like this beat. I'm probably not going to keep it, but let's go command K for that. I think this is in. Sounds like D, which is a good key actually to be working in. All right, let's uh, see if we can just record a bass line here. I might add some effects to that track there. Let's grab the mixer. Um, let's grab some delay.
I'm also going to push this to the sides so it stays out of the way of the kick drum. So I'm going to use an imaging stereo spread. I'm going to do light, high frequency and low frequency spread. That's just made it sound a bit funky. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better. It's just pushed it out to the sides a bit more. So it's cut off that note there. So let's go down to that trap bass and quantize that. Draw in a note there. Um, I was just hitting command there to draw in a note. Okay, not my best work, but hey, it's just a tutorial, right? Let's add some high outs. Don't get angry at me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Forget all the shortcuts. Okay. Let's add, um, see here on the, we want to put the grid up to, how do I change this grid? I'm going to pause this video and figure it out. Okay, so uh, I didn't have, under preferences, I didn't have advanced um, advanced tools on. That was why I was going a bit mental. So instead of smart snap, I'm going to change this to 32 notes. Then I should be able to just then Why is it doing that? Hmm, let's grab another hi hat.
Let's add in some of those crazy little... Okay. Just trying a few different things here. And snap it back on the sixteenth notes. It's gonna make it a shorter. Take it back to 64 so I can do like a little something with these snares here. Okay, um, this is starting to get too long, so let's finish this off. Um, let's add one more thing, hey? Um, let's add. I don't know, a synth, um, yeah, some kind of synth. Try something rhythmic. Remember we're in D. That was kind of cool. Change the uh, bass sound. Let's get back till I find my trap bass. Should be there. Should be doing this on a new software instrument track. Will we grab synth and Rhythmic. That 
That'll do. Let's record that. to loop that just make sure I've got that one down there on some kind of a grid and then loop that out Now we're getting a little bit closer to something worth listening to. Um, I think that this could probably have at least two or three more tracks, but I'm going to um, just finish the tutorial there. I'm a little bit tired. It's been a big uh, day already, um, but I hope that's helped you out. Um, that's you know one method of, of making beats uh, in Logic Pro. And if you want to make that um, pop a bit more, go to your stereo out track in the mixer here and um, chuck a multi presser, multi band compressor. And if you're feeling lazy like I am, just dial up a preset, see if it works. Sound pretty good actually. No, that hip hop one was way better. Um, then chuck a dynamics uh, limiter, stereo limiter. Dial the gain up till you start seeing gain reduction on that meter right there. I want to grab also under uh, where is it metering loudness meter see how loud we are we're aiming for like about 10 minus 10 lufs minus 11. let's hit start here It's not too bad. Minus 12 is all right. I normally aim for minus 11 or minus 10, but you can check out one of my other mastering videos there. Um, so what would I do here? I'd just start building an arrangement really. Um, instead of looping, I'd use a copy and a paste. Um, and then basically start yeah building my arrangement making it build up and have a few like bits where it drops out pull that bass out maybe right there i can splice it And in that one, get rid of the kicks. Mm -hmm. 
So let's have a quick listen to that. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, guys. And let's have a listen to play us out. Make sure you subscribe and check out some of my courses that I've got going. There you have it, folks. I'm actually going to keep going. Hello to everyone still watching this boring video. Just going to chuck some reverb. Got a compressor on the drums here. Add a bit of space there.